In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can work faster and save time with Google Slides templates. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. Now I'm going to show you my four favorite websites to find some Google templates that are not only going to save you time, but these four websites are of an incredibly high quality. So the templates that you are getting are not only user friendly, they're also well designed, crafted to be useful in both the classroom and outside the classroom. So let's dive into it. And the first one on my list is probably the one that I've been using the longest and that is Slides Carnival. Now, Slides Carnival has a range of different templates available and you can see there's a couple of categories here at the top and these categories will help you decide which slideshows might be the right fit for you. Now they have both Google Slides and PowerPoint templates so you can easily download the PowerPoint version and then use it with Microsoft or you can use the Google Slides. Now I'm going to open up the Christmas 2019 presentation template and then you will see we have a link right there to copy the Google Slides version. Now I'm going to click on that link and this opens up the slideshow in a preview window. Now at the top I see that button that says use template and this is what I would then click if I wanted to start using the template. Great website, Slides Carnival. And this brings us to the second website. Now the second website is Slides Go. Now Slides Go is not only a similar platform in terms of offering you many different templates and having it all neatly organized by categories, it also has some unique designs you won't find on any of the other platforms. So go ahead and find something you like and then click on the template. They too will give you two links. One is a download for the PowerPoint version and the other is a a direct link to a copy URL. Now this works slightly different from Carnival whereas when you click on the use as a Google Slides you will be prompted to immediately make your own copy so you don't get that preview right there. Which brings us to the third website. Now the third one is Slides Gala. Now Slides Gala has again a range of different templates however this website does have a fair few ads in it so make sure that you're not clicking on the wrong buttons on this website. Now as you find the templates that you would like to use, you can click on that template and then as you scroll down, you will see there is a preview right there. Now you will have two buttons yet again, it is a PowerPoint and a Google Slides. And then when you click on that Google Slides button, a new tab opens up. This is again a copy URL. That means that you are forced to make your own copy right there. And then my fourth website, and this is one of my all time favorites, is Slides Mania. Now Slides Mania has beautiful templates, all handcrafted and neatly designed. And they also have that educational category, which means that you can easily find things that are suitable for the class Room. Now, another thing that is worth mentioning about Slides Mania is if you make sure that you follow them on Twitter, then you will be updated about all the latest templates that they are putting on their website. So I have found many beautiful templates just from following their Twitter account, and then I get sent straight to that website. Now they too have two buttons, one for PowerPoint, one for Google Slides, and when you click on the Google Slides one, you will be prompted with a copy URL. So you make your own copy, and and then you can start editing the slide as you please. Now remember these are all templates created by others so when you are using their templates and you're creating your presentations make sure that you credit the original creators. Always make sure that you leave a link to their website or that you make sure that everyone is aware of where these presentations have come from. This is not only good practice for yourself but it's also teaching your students that crediting your sources is incredibly important. We want to give credit where credit is due and these people have put a lot of time into creating these amazing templates. Now I would love to hear in that comment section below which of these four websites is your favorite. I hope you found this video helpful. I use these websites and I've saved a lot of time preparing for presentations by using one of their templates. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can be notified of new videos coming out and I would love to start a conversation in that comment section below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.